The imagination is something undescribable. People want to quantify it, and they even want to diminish it by saying that it's something that's silly, and, oh, he's imagining that he's on Mars. Poor little Billy with his cardboard sword. He's imagining he's a gladiator. But the right. imagination is responsible for this podcast. It's responsible for microphones, responsible for electrical cables, responsible for the internet, responsible for the house that you're living in, responsible for every single thing we're wearing, that we drove. Hmm. It's all a manifestation of the imagination. The imagination is literally the machine that creates everything we see right. in human society. It's not a little thing. It's the fucking thing. <laughs> yeah. It's the thing. Yeah. It's the greatest thing that anybody's ever... Hey, you don't need imagination. What you need is hard work. You fucking show up on time. <laughs> you do your job and you go to bed with a sense of satisfaction. <laughs> the guy doesn't do have a Budweiser <laughs> bottle to drink unless someone figured out how to make glass. Okay, that's right. all the imagination. The imagination is the whole fucking ball of wax. Even language comes out of the imagination. The imagination figured out how to hunt. When you see an orangutan getting ants with sticks, that is the imagination. What do you think the imagination is? What is that? It's the machine that creates, and it's the machine that changes. Why a machine? Because I think that it's all the same. I think there's a machine, there's a genetic machine that allows a caterpillar to become a butterfly, and then there's imagination that allows a human being to one day physically manifest the big you change. You know, it's weird, because imagination existed prior to machines. Like, imagination was there when there were no machines. But it grew the same way humans grew, the same way machines a woolly mammoth grew. Machines grow out of imagination. Yes, all of it does. It you know the good. greatest Marshall McLuhan quote ever? I know what you're going to say, but say it. Human beings are the sex organs of the machine world. Yes. God damn it, he wrote that in the 60s. So I'm reading this book on Buddhist psychology by Jack Kornfield, and it's fucking awesome how deep Buddha went into breaking down the way human beings experience reality. And the idea is that there is a field of consciousness that we are in, like water, like fish swimming in water. The field of consciousness is like a thing that is flowing through us, and we're flavoring it with our experiences. So the experiences that you have as a person is like dropping dye into water and there's these temporary colorings of this field of consciousness and that's the human experience. If you begin to watch, you'll start to notice that your experience is broken down into bits, into like these little beads or moments of experience. And in between each of these beats or moments of experience, there's this pause. And that pause is the field of pure consciousness, which is what we actually are. The person that you think you are is the experience of consciousness meeting this temporary manifestation that's the atomic cloud or swirl of particles that makes up a Joe Rogan. But that's not what you are. You're just consciousness flowing through it like water through a sea cave. The idea is that the more you let go of this identity of the self, the more you move into this expansiveness. It's this open field of freedom. That's very fascinating that you, you flavor reality around you. Reality around you. Reality around you. Reality around you. At dusk, the crow counts his blessings. <laughs> Thank you.